conversion tracking for JOT forms. So there are multiple ways you can embed a JOT form into your website. The most common ones are probably this embed script and an iframe. But these actually end up creating the same end result. Both of these are iframes. So the script basically just generates an iframe. So not sure what's kind of the idea here. Uh, either way, if you are using the source code version, then you will need to use a redirection to a custom thank you page and redirect visitors to your website. So I was hoping that we could conversion track using the form triggers. So in Google Tag Manager, we have a trigger that's, you know, just a form submission and this should work. However, there is a little bit of a catch I'm going to show here. So in my test website, I'm just going to copy paste the source code, the entire thing to this code block, or I have done that already. And then I'm going to head over to Google Tag Manager to preview and test my form, uh, form trigger conversion tracking setup. All right, I'm going to head over to the source code version. I have all these versions here. Add a dummy email here and click submit. Actually, I'm first going to clear out my tag assistant so we can more clearly see what happens when I do this. So I click submit. And you can actually see that I'm taken away from my Squarespace website into jotform.com. So what happens here is that on my website, the form submit trigger is fired. So you would think that maybe the conversion tracking works. Well, the problem is that, for example, the Google ads tag for chat form conversions says still running. So this means that the firing status still running um, occurs because it was attempting to send the conversion tag to Google ads or the conversion event, but we redirected so quickly that it just didn't have the time to to do so. So this time I'm going to attempt a form that has a redirection. So here in the settings, we actually have a redirection to an external thank you page. So this is uh, has a few of these variables that I'm using for conversion tracking and my conversion tracking product uses these. So let's try this out. Again, I'm going to go with the source code. Add the new version, the form that has the redirection here. And head back over to Google Tag Manager to try this out. All right, again, the source code, but this time it has to redirect. So again, I'm going to clear out my tag assistant for clarity and then click submit. All right, so we are now redirected back to a thank you page within my website. And here we can see the redirect thank you trigger was fired and all my conversion tags were fired. So uh, I have this chat form conversion tracking kind of set up for sale. It's probably going to be a little bit more expensive in the future because because now I'm in the beta phases. So a lot of people kind of ask me details and I'm approving the product. Uh, but yes, this setup works with the thank you page. Thank you page. So it works actually for all of these versions. So yeah, hope you will try it out.